Hey guys, BD Rebel, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, let's go to radar first and see what we've got. Out of the Pacific Northwest, this is the area the storm track is going to favor for the next seven, eight, nine days. Everything's going to be routed up into the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia with three or four different storm systems. You see a lot of rain on radar, the green. Very high snow levels, with it. still in a warm pre-season, early season pattern here. I'll talk about the uh, this rain snow line coming up here in just a second. Let me show you Whistler, uh, Blackcomb. You can see some snow up there above 6,000 feet, um, above 2,000 meters roughly. But you can see some of the snow come down. It's all going to be rain at lower elevations below 6,000 feet. There's your Roundhouse Lodge shot. You can see some flakes of snow. It's not incredibly heavy yet. That band of precip is going to take its time that I just showed you. So it's it's still approaching. That's that first storm system. All right, let's go over to uh, water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, your oranges and reds are your drier air aloft, your moistures and the whites and the blues. And before I get into the pattern, I want to just show you, there's Helene, what is going to become our hurricane. And the track will take it up towards the big bend of Florida and then move in. Um, so that's gonna be happening over the next 72 hours. Now back out west, here's the pattern. You can see what's going on with the jet. Everything's being routed up here, all the moisture up into BC and the Pacific Northwest, and then it cruises over the top of BC down past Banff and so on. That's gonna be the dominant pattern for, again, like I said, probably the next seven, eight, nine days. Here are my bullet points. So the storm track favoring those areas, the rain snow line up on the coastal range of BC is running about 6,000 feet. The interior parts of BC are even higher, like the rain snow lines like 9, 10, 11,000 feet to start, then it will slowly drop. But this is a very warm influx for the interior parts of BC. And I'll show you the snow forecast that uh, I've got put together and it's again, very high elevation snow. Uh, for everybody else in the lower 48, Intermountain West, it's all high pressure for the next seven, eight, nine days. Just not a lot going on in those areas. Um, okay, let's just talk about the jet stream forecast. So here we are by late tonight, 1130. Like I was showing you, that storm track is running up into the Pacific Northwest and a lot of uh, BC. Okay, let me just take you into, there's Thursday, there's Friday, Saturday. Again, everything's running up into the Pacific Northwest and BC. That's where all the action is, running up over the top and then kind of down into the Northeast. There's 10-3, another storm system. So embedded within this jet are two, three, four different storm systems for that same area. Okay, here is the forecast radar and satellite. So by 5.30 this afternoon, high and dry, lower 48, clear skies, a lot of sunshine, golden days of fall. The precip, most of it is being rain, is up in the Pacific Northwest, Washington, Oregon, BC, and again, very high snow levels. So um, that's the current state. Let me take you into tomorrow. There's 5 a.m., 515. There's another storm system following that same track up through the Pacific Northwest. There's Friday afternoon. There's Saturday. Saturday afternoon. There's Sunday, another storm system tracking through many of the same areas. There's Monday, potentially another feed of moisture for a lot of those same places. And again, lower 48, there's just nothing going on. Um, there's a front potentially that kind of come, comes down through eastern Montana and Wyoming, but all the action, 99% of it, is all up in the Pacific Northwest and BC. All right, my snow forecast is pretty obvious after you see all that. So I've got some nice color contours for uh, snow forecast up there in parts of BC, interior BC, but keep in mind, that's very high elevation snow, and it is going to be rain at most of the base areas, most of the areas lower on the mountain. In fact, um, I'm going to zoom in on that. So uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, the main areas, like Revelstoke, and um, you've got Barman Basin up there, you've got Whistler, you might have some, some light accumulation later in the period at lower, at just slightly lower elevations. But by and large, all the snow you see here is all reserved for the very highest peaks and the highest of elevations. That's just typically what you would see this time of the year anyway, but it's nice to see the moisture. You know, could be a foreshadowing of a very good, uh, of a nice pattern ahead for the winter and some good snowfall uh, with this La Nina uh, that should be in place by the winter season. But that's what I'm expecting for the next seven, eight, nine days across the West, guys. Again, always appreciate you tuning in here. 
and I'll talk with you again later. Take care.